know. I'm a little different. I believe maybe I believe differently. I, I don't I don't I don't know. 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 And I think somebody said it was it was your it was how you said it and your tone. Your tone and how you said it and your tone. And again, y'all, I've been in church too long. I've been in the institution of church too long. I got you. I feel you. I hear you. However, I would like to add, I've heard some of the most obscene, obnoxious things across the pulpit of churches that was said the wrong way with the craziest tone ever. And we just had to accept it because it was pastor such and such. And it was bishop such and such. It was rude, ignorant, degrading, demonizing. I mean, it was, I've heard so much stuff across the pulpit during sermons saying any, anything they want, any type of way they want. Rude, disrespectful, from adult to another adult. I've heard some across the pulpits of churches across America talking about tone and the way something is said. The church should, y'all should understand that more than almost anybody. Because anything could almost be said across that pulpit and it'd be accepted because of the honor that we're given who's saying it. Like y'all, Bishop could be wrong. That could be wrong. How he's, that could, but we accept and we force our minds to, you know, kind of adjust and make it okay, because he's anointed and that's the man of God. So we just make it. Well, that's the woman of God. So what? She was rude. So what's that? Whoa! And just get it kind of what? Yo, that's that's whack to me. That we have to accept rudeness and da 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 in the name of their anointed, they're the prophet, their position. And then they got, then you got the idolatry, the idolatry of these positions, the idolatry of these churches. Like, yo, we hold it in such high regard. I love the, I love the, shut it down, gone. No building, no bishop, no pastor, no. And somebody told me, you need to gather because the Bible says lay hands. The Bible says sing unto him. The Bible, yeah, do all that outside the church. Hmm. I don't need the pastor to lay hands on me. I don't need the church experience to get hands laid on me. When Jesus sent them out two by two and they cast out devils and stuff, they didn't go to churches. They didn't go to buildings. Yeah, but then he also talked about um, that he felt like the, the the breakfast club was the right place to go because they were child of gods. Mm. He, he felt like they were child of gods. He said everybody, he, he started saying everything. Mm. He was like, everything's a child. Everybody's a child of God. False. Um, he, no, I'm saying he was. He was saying he was the LGBT people. The, he was naming everybody, you mean, but you mean then created by God. But yeah, created by yeah, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then he was like, they go, they will perish because they don't, they don't know Jesus. Right. No, but he yeah. said, the, but he was saying the reason why he felt comfortable saying that because there's a part in there, it. It is a long clip. There's a part in there where he was saying that um, he felt comfortable with them because he felt he was in the presence of child of God. Mm. You know what? I've never been to a church. I've never not been to a church. I've never not served in a ministry that didn't offend me. You know what I mean? Like, you take the good with the bad. The good is the fellowship, right? You're there You're there for fellowship. You're there for the culture. You're there to, to, to serve. But then you're going to get offended. No, no, no. But that's, that's not what he's talking about. He's not talking about getting offended. He's talking no, about I people know. saying things that are wrong. Right, but I'm, uh, what, he, that's what I'm saying. Like, I've heard things from my pastor's pulpit that have offended me where he said something I thought was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's just things that happen with imperfect people. Yeah, but it still needs to be fixed. Like, it's not it's not okay to just be like, oh, it's, you know. Right, but he's saying, he's saying you don't have to go to church. You you don't have to you don't have to be in front of the pastor. You don't have to be with these people. Like, I feel like if you do that, that's going to – the good or the bad is – you you risk the chance of falling away. Yeah. Falling away from the yeah. fellowship. Falling because away from – your your constant you know um, your constant diet of of, of the word of God in yeah. the Bible. Well, so <laughs> I think I think you're right. Cause, but his in his situation, I think his church is online right now. Yeah. So mm. that's another conversation of is that enough? Well, Assembling. Yeah. Is online. Well, he enough? just closed well, the laptop. He, well, he could, about? well, he yeah. he had a, a building like he used to. I used to see because um, I follow him on Instagram. He used to have a church church. He was in a church building. But it sounds like he doesn't want to get it yeah, started but I think, I, But I think it sounded like, I think something in that interview was he, um, in the interview with the Breakfast Club, that he either lost the building or something yeah, with the building yeah, yeah. that he didn't, he doesn't have But, no but here's the thing. I think, I think Ryan is right in the sense that 
there are going to be good and bad that comes out of the church. But there's two reactions. It's not okay to excuse it. If your pastor says something crazy, your pastor can't say something crazy. Yeah, you don't yeah. just accept whatever yeah, he does. Right. Your pastor cheating with this lady over here, that's not okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You can't just let that slide. That's not that's right. not what we're doing. But you also can't just give up on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what he sounds like he's in the place of like he's like, I'm giving up on on church as an as a way to spread the gospel and a way is to grow as a people. I that's, think he, he's that's saying not that, good. I think he's saying he's giving up on the institution and and maybe maybe for some people church as the, the gathering versus the institution and the all that right is but different. just make it better like don't give up on it make it yeah. better mm-hmm. yeah like fix it I yeah. don't, don't let them carry on with their nonsense like yeah. that's why we do this and like Pastor Jamal Bryant shouldn't be a pastor <laughs> right. like stuff like that where you just say it <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think he's speaking from hurt, bro. It's, to me, it sounds like Ty Tribbett was hurt by the church. Um, I, I saw that that video. He went on to talk about like what was going on with him and his wife was going through their issues and different mm-hmm. things of that nature. And I felt like he's been in the middle of some situations that the church didn't handle properly. Yep. And even though he's moved on, moved forward, it probably some things that rubbed him the wrong way that he never really got over. And I think he's speaking from a place of hurt and frustration. There are some valid statements that he is making, but I, I think the tone, I, I don't care what he said, the tone in which he said it and the, the mannerisms and everything gave anger, gave frustration, yeah. gave, yeah. I don't want nothing to do with this. Yeah. I we, think let's, yeah. let's tie. Don't give up. Yeah. Let's make it better. You are actually a pastor. Don't quit. We need yeah. you. We need all the people who are legit. <laughs> I, I still I believe he's legit. Yeah. Like I don't think there's anything he did that was like disqualifying. He's not Jamal Bryant. <laughs> he's not Jamal Bryant, <laughs> who again should not be a pastor. But <laughs> he's not that to me. I didn't I didn't feel that from him. But I do see frustration that we we all feel it. But let's get it right. Let's make it better. Let's fix it because there are people who will turn away from God because yeah. of people like Jamal Bryant. <laughs> it's, it's just yeah. that's just how it is. Hey, what's going on? I hope you liked that video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash trackstarsuniverse. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now, right now.